More expectant moms are making drastic last-minute changes to their birthing plans as more hospitals ban their partners from the delivery room. News Force Rebecca Cardenas spoke with a midwife who says her phone is ringing off the hook. She says she's turning away four to five pregnant women a day, and her biggest concern is that those women will turn to unassisted birth at home for fear of being alone. Large Business is booming for midwife Marianne Richardson. They're scared to death to go to hospitals because they've heard the rumors that their husband will not allow to be in there with them. She was booked before the coronavirus outbreak, but the increase in women she's had to turn away since is sizable. And a very in large increase in the women who are so far along, who are almost ready to deliver and are wanting to switch their plan. Richardson says she prefers to work with women for the duration of their pregnancy. We learn, you know, what makes them tick inside and out. We uh, address their diet. Their nutritional status is so important to have a low-risk birth. It's simply not enough time. It's a recipe for a high-risk transfer, transport to the hospital. She worries about the women she cannot help. I, I am concerned that there are women out there. I've talked to two today that are considering doing an unassisted birth at home, and I would not mm -hmm. recommend that. There's no way that we can be the saviors for all these women who had decided to have a hospital birth um, and now want to have a home birth. I, I wish we could, but we can't. If your hospital is not allowing other people in the delivery room, Richardson advises maybe looking for a different hospital or laboring at home for as long as possible without risking unassisted birth so that you're alone for less of the time. I'm reporting in Nashville, Rebecca Cardenas, News 4.